In the mathematical field of set theory, Martin's axiom, introduced by Donald A. Martin and Robert M. Solovey, is a statement that is independent of the usual axioms of ZFC set theory. It is implied by the continuum hypothesis, but it is consistent with ZFC and the negation of the continuum hypothesis. Informally, it says that all cardinals less than the cardinality of the continuum behave roughly like the intuition behind this can be understood by studying the proof of the Razor hour Sikorsky lemma. It is a principle that is used to control certain forcing arguments. Statement of Martin's axiom. For any cardinal k, we define a statement, denoted by ma. For any partial order p satisfying the countable chain condition and any family d of dense sets in p such that d k, there is a filter f on p such that f d is non-empty for every d in d. Since it is a theorem of ZFC that ma, for every chi less than, ma holds. In this case, an antichain is a subset A of P such that any two distinct members of A are incompatible. This differs from, for example, the notion of antichain in the context of trees. MA is false. 0, 1, is a compact Hausdorff space, which is separable and so CCC. It has no isolated points, so points in it are nowhere dense, but it is the union of many points. Equivalent forms of MA. The following statements are equivalent to Martin's axiom. If X is a compact Hausdorff topological space that satisfies the CCC then X is not the union of K or fewer nowhere dense subsets. If P is a non-empty upwards CCC posit and Y is a family of cofinal subsets of P with Y, K then there is an upwards directed set A such that A meets every element of Y. Let A be a non-zero CCC Boolean algebra and F a family of subsets of A with F, K. Then there is a Boolean homomorphism phi, a Z to Z such that for every X in F either there is an R in X with phi equals 1 or there is an upper bound B for X with phi equals 0. Consequences Martin's axiom has a number of other interesting combinatorial, analytic and topological consequences. The union of K or fewer null sets in an atomless sigma finite Borel measure on a Polish space is null. In particular, the union of K or fewer subsets of R of Lebesgue measure 0 also has Lebesgue measure 0. A compact Hausdorff space X with X less than 2K is sequentially compact, i.e., every sequence has a convergent subsequence. No non-principal ultrafilter on N has a base of cardinality less than K. Equivalently for any X in beta N, N we have chi K, where chi is the character of X, and so chi K, M A, M A plus C H implies that there exists a whitehead group that is not free. Shall I use this to show that the whitehead problem is independent of ZFC?